Uh, hello YouTube, so today I'm going to be talking about uh, why why faith in Jesus Christ was the only logical way to get people into heaven and why it was the only one that was the only thing that could address the root cause of sin and why it was the only way logically to get people into heaven. So to start off, if we read in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 9, it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, and not of works, lest anyone should boast. So as we can see here, to, to get into heaven is by having faith in Jesus Christ, and that is, and it's, the, it's putting our faith and trust in Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross for our sins, rose again from the dead, and so we, that we could have eternal life in heaven with him forevermore, and that's a free gift of salvation. The only, and the only thing we need to do is put our faith in Jesus Christ, and thus we are saved forevermore. Once saved, always saved. <coughs> then it says um, in verse 9, not of works, lest anyone should boast. So in other religions, you have to do good works or do good works to, to get into heaven. And so, and as Paul was saying here to the Ephesians, it was not it's not of works that you can get into heaven, lest anyone should boast. Because... If log if we go on the if we go on the hypothetical that to get into heaven you had to do good works so let's say you had to do more good than you did bad in life then when we get into heaven there will there will still be this underlying there still be this underlying thing of people boasting and what boasting leads to that leads to it still leads to a lot of it still doesn't address the sin problem you can still have a lot of sin there because if you have people boasting, that leads to self-righteousness, arrogance, pride, looking down on other people, treating people as less inferior, then there'd be this arbitrary, arbitrary hierarchy and people thinking when they're in heaven forevermore that they're closer or they get to have more privileged, more intimate and more closer relationship with Jesus because uh, with God because they've done more good works and thus they're deserving of a far more intimate relationship with God and that's where all the boasting comes from but that is sinful and that is prideful and so that doesn't address so doing good works in to get into heaven doesn't address the underlying issue of why why people sin and stuff but but so that that's why having faith that's why Jesus had to die and lead a perfect life on earth dying across his sins and then rose again from the dead and then by putting our faith and trust in him, um, we could have eternal life in heaven. And, though, and putting your faith and trust in someone is, is something any anyone can do and leaves everyone on an equal playing field when they get into heaven. So that thus no one no one would be able to both say no. All right, so how did, so say someone gets into, so if we have two examples. If we go by good works example, one person might say, so how did you get into heaven? Oh, I did like 10,000 good works throughout my lifetime compared to only, and only done 5,000 bad works. But then another person might, then the other person might say to them, oh, really? That's it? I did 20,000 good works and I only did 2,000 bad things in my life. So that means I, that means I'm far more deserving of heaven. I, I deserve a far more intimate and more closer relationship with God for eternity than you do. So that leads to their self-righteousness and pride and stuff. And then that leads to a not equal playing field in heaven where everyone can develop their relationship with God equally and intimately as well. But if we go by faith in Jesus Christ, so if we have one person who says, like, how did you get into heaven? Oh, I put my faith in Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross for my sins, rose again from the dead, so we could have eternal life in heaven with him forevermore. And then you might ask the other person, how did you get into heaven? Oh, I did the same thing, I put my faith in Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross for my sins, rose again from the dead, so I could have eternal life in heaven with him forevermore. So see, in that example, the two people have done the exact same thing, thus they equal, they're on equal level equal playing field and thus they're because they've done the same thing there's no motivation for boasting self-righteousness or pride or looking down on people whereas in the other one whereas in the other one where people do good works to get into heaven there's or there, there's going to be still opportunity for people to be prideful boastful and self-righteous because that's that and that doesn't uh, that doesn't solve any that doesn't solve the original sin problem at all but but in our faith in Jesus Christ does.
because he paid the penalty for all our sins and thus we don't need to get we don't need to do anything to get into heaven except for our faith in Jesus Christ <laughs> and thus the problem of uh, the problem of sin has been addressed whereas if we, if we were doing it by good works to get into heaven uh, no matter how many good works you do there'll be always be someone who, who who's done better good works than you and that will lead to jealousy and self-righteousness uh, in any in any sort of situation relative to other people and so that still doesn't address the underlying sin problem there would still be sin in heaven whereas by putting our faith in Jesus Christ that all the sins have been imputed onto Jesus and thus everyone's on equal playing field and thus there'll be no need for boasting any sort of prideful sins or anything for that because the problem of sin has all been already been dealt with by Jesus so this is the end of the YouTube video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next video. But before I end the video, if you if you want if you've heard this video and you want to put your faith in Jesus Christ, um, then let us bow and pray our heads together. Dear Lord Jesus, I admit I'm a sinner and I'm worthy of hell, and that there's no good works amount of good works that I can do to get into heaven. And thus, therefore, I put my faith in you, Jesus, that you died on the cross for my sins, rose again from the dead, that you led a perfect life, and that you died on the cross for my sins, and rose again from the dead, so I could have eternal life in heaven with you, Lord Jesus, forevermore. And I thank you that my name is in the book of life, and that now my salvation is secure in you forevermore, and that I spend eternal life in heaven with you now, Lord Jesus, forevermore. In Jesus' name, Amen. So if you pray that prayer, then you and you put your faith in Jesus Christ, then yes, you are saved now and you have it. spent eternity in heaven with Jesus Christ forevermore. And I'll see you there. So if you have this is the end of the YouTube video now. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next video. And I'll try to answer those questions as best as I can in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.